Hi everyone. Today's video has three points and you're going to want to stick around because the third point is a secret as to the absolute number one best way to kill procrastination. So let's get into it. What we're going to discuss today is get rid of procrastination once and for all. Now, as a self-publisher, when you first get started, you've written your book, Congratulations already on getting that done because you've managed to kill the procrastination that you might have been tempted in terms of just putting off the writing of the book. You get started, it's exciting, and then you suddenly have a lot of difficulty keeping yourself focused, which is the number one challenge that writers and authors have when it gets to the point of actually getting your book onto the market. But then you face additional challenges. Since your primary skill set may be actually writing the book, how do we do the formatting and ordering of the cover and figuring out keywords and descriptions and reviews and marketing and sales and ads and all of these sorts of things? It can become very overwhelming. And as a result of all the tasks involved in each of these steps, we start to get buried and start to stop doing the tasks that are going to move us forward. We're procrastinating on the steps that are absolutely most important if we're going to get our book onto the market and get it selling. And that is what we're going to address in today's video. This is Chris Baird from selfpublishingmadeeasynow.com where self-publishing doesn't have to be so hard. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like for me to make more videos like this one and help me beat the YouTube algorithm. And also grab a copy of my self-publishing checklist secrets below in the description to make sure that you are not missing any of the important steps necessary in getting your book self-published and selling on the market. So let's get into it. For my own story, a, long, a while, several years ago, I was working a project where I was the base manager for a large pipeline was being built on the bottom of the f sub on the f bottom of the sea and the thing was is as they were building this pipeline it involved a lot of steps in terms of putting pipes together the ships that would be pulling this lay barge along in addition to a supply ship that would be going back and forth and that created a lot of complications there a number of the tasks just kept on increasing. So the total number was just a number, it kept on adding additional tasks that needed to be done. So I wrote everything down. Initially, I actually even just stuck it into the calendar so I could see all of the items of all the things I needed to do. But each half hour block, well, I had like four items for each half hour block. And before I knew it, I was completely overwhelmed. So soon the list became so great that I just chose the items that I enjoyed the most. And what could go wrong with that particular plan? Just doing the things that are either easiest or most fun or maybe new shiny objects. You've heard of a new tool or something like that and focusing on those things as opposed to the absolute most important things necessary to get the task done. But then I realized I had to prioritize the list and skip the things that were not important. That not everything on your list is equally important and the things that matter the most, you have to figure out a way to go about putting them up front so that they're the ones that are going to get done. And if things are not going to get done, well, let it be the things that are not as important. Sometimes people have talked about this in terms of looking at what is urgent versus the important. And urgent can sometimes be not the most important so that we're focusing our time and energy on things where people are saying, you need to get this done or get this done. But in reality, it's not moving the ball forward as opposed to taking the things that are not urgent but are important and getting those done first so that we're able to make the bricks that are necessary to get progress to move us towards our goals. And that was something that I discovered on this particular project. It was when the tools I was using were falling apart because of the number of tasks coming in. And at the same time, this procrastination of putting off the most important tasks. So get rid of procrastination once and for all. So the first thing as a self-publisher you're going to want to do is map out the path that you're taking. I have that checklist, as I mentioned below in the description, which will show you the basic framework for the path. Now, each of these steps will, of course, be broken down into a lot more complex steps. However, we do not wish to get overwhelmed. We just need to know what are the steps that are necessary in order for us to get to our goal of getting the book out there and selling. We have the milestones that we're going to want to be able to see and keep track of how far we've come. So that's our first 
key point to getting rid of procrastination. The second thing for self-publishers that you're going to want to pay attention to, it's make a list of the absolute top one to three tasks you're going to need to do each day to reach those milestones. And not all of the tasks you do are going to help you get there. Some people think that spending lots of time on social media will help you get your book onto the market. It really won't do that unless it's motivating you at some level, but you really need to get down to the issue of the concrete tasks necessary to reach your goal, whether it's, okay, today I need to order a cover, or maybe you even need to decide on the keywords you're gonna use for even the title itself. And if you're able to get that completed, it was a successful day, even if you have a thousand other tasks. Now, I personally, I use a tool called Todoist. You can find my affiliate link below in the description. That's what I use to keep track of mine. And for example, today I noticed I had something like a hundred tasks that I was looking at. So I spread them out over time so that it's just a few tasks a day, starting with the most important. So they are definitely going to get done, including recording this very YouTube video or podcast or blog you may be reading at this very moment. And so as you're going through it, you figure out what the most important is and you can even flag these things. You can use Excel or a piece of paper. They work just fine. However, make sure you have some way of looking at all of the tasks so we, we do not have open loops going around in our head, things we have to remember. We have everything written down. And then what is the absolute number one task that you could be doing today in order to get your, your book onto the market? We're not saying getting the book onto the market today, but at the task that would move you one step closer to that as opposed to a task like testing out new tools or watching YouTube videos all over the place. Um, I do understand there's a time and a place. In fact, I feel I watch too little YouTube videos. I should be watching even more strategic videos than I even watch. But a lot of things I've heard before and I implement them myself and I teach you here as well, things that I've learned or have tried or things that, that, uh, that are being done by other people that I know and respect. And that's an important aspect there too, just finding people you know and respect and are able to move forward with them through the steps. But the secret answer of the day, and this is probably the one that when I really am delaying, I've followed all of the other steps, I've got everything prioritized, I know what the most important tasks are, but I'm just not doing it? And the answer is you need accountability. Somebody to hold you accountable for your actions. You've said what are the most important actions and maybe this person can even help you identify those most important actions. For me, I use a business coach, somebody who's able to look at exactly the flow of the activities that are being done and saying these are the top priority. These are the things you need to be spending your time on when it comes to moving the business forward, getting these books published, getting these ad campaigns out, creating these useful videos for other self-publishers. There's a series of things that become very, very important when we're doing stuff and then knowing you're going to be meeting with your coach or whoever it is you choose to be accountable to, that motivates you to actually do that focus. Ideally, you would send them an update on a daily basis. So you could say, here's how far I've come. And then during the sessions, you can go through what you've done, how far we've come, and make a plan to move forward into the future. And that is something that I also find very important with the people that I coach as well. You can check below in the description if you're interested in any help in coaching, but you can also choose a family member or a friend to do it. I would, sometimes it's not as good that way because they won't hold your feet hold you accountable in the same level. Obviously, each person, maybe you don't want to be held accountable. You just want some guidance here or there. But uh, if you do want accountability, that's a service that I also definitely provide. Uh, if somebody wishes to have that accountability to make sure that not only are you on the correct path, but then we're holding each other accountable. We're keeping track of what exactly have we done today. Are they the top priority tasks or are they not the top priority tasks? And I think this is something that so many self-publishers simply aren't doing. You may think you're staying busy and you're not procrastinating by watching Netflix or something else, but then you're doing tasks that are not your high, most important tasks. Some people would say swallow the frog, do your MITs, your most important tasks, the first thing of the day. Now, today I'm violating that rule. I'm recording my YouTube video, which come out every three days here in the evening, but the reality is, is this is just something that sometimes happens. We give ourselves a little bit of a break. But my question for you today is, do you struggle for, with procrastination? If you do, write yes below in the comments. And if you don't, write no below in the comments because I need to know where you're coming from. And check up above me here for more video answers to your self-publishing questions. Thanks.